Let me show you how to get real life data, even though if you're not working for any company yet, or if you're just getting started today and you want to get real life data. So we back then I did this several times and it helped me a lot to get myself evaluated and be rest assured that this particular career is for me and I will actually make a lot of success in it. So I believe we all have a Facebook account. So what we're going to do right now is to make use of our Facebook in a very positive way. The very first thing you have to do is to make sure you go to Facebook and on the search bar of Facebook, we're going to search for groups. So this time around, we have to be very specific. We are not looking for pages, but groups. And this particular group is divided into two. We have private and we have public. Anything private is private to the owner of that particular group, right? So anything public, anybody can make a post. So we are looking for a public, you know, a group where anyone can actually come and make a post about the problems they have. So if you are actually somebody who uses Microsoft Excel, you have to search for Excel related groups. If you use Power BI, Python, R, just to name it, you have to search for tools that are very peculiar to your own, you know, kind of tools. We can search for Power BI for data analysis, Power BI for the visualization, Power BI for dashboards and reporting. So if you have seen lots of public, you know, um, groups, then join as many as you want. So the next step we have to take after we might have joined those particular groups right now is for you to start going into those particular groups one after the other. Then try to look out for what people are looking for. So a lot of people come into this particular group and actually make a post about the problems they have. So some people might actually come and like, how can I calculate average monthly revenue in Power BI? So this, this might actually look very simple, but it has some kind of complexity attached to it. And some persons doesn't know. If you know it, you can help out, right? Some persons might actually come and say, my formula is broken. Who can actually help me to fix this? So my dashboard does not look beautiful. I want to know how to format this or who can actually teach me. A lot of questions will actually be asked right here by people across the world. So right now, it is the right time to actually hit the nail on the head. So don't be too fast to actually request the data set of this particular person. All you have to do is to randomly pick any of these particular problems you think you can solve and go ahead and generate some fake data around it. Once you have generated those particular fake data, the next thing you have to do right now is to make sure you solve those problems using this particular data. If you are very sure that this particular problem has been solved successfully, the next thing you have to reach out to the person who posted that particular problem. So how do you do that? Go to the person's DM and actually send a direct message to the person and say, Hi, I saw your post on um, Power BI for data visualization and dashboard. So I think I can actually help and I'm going to help you 100% free. So 99.9% .9 of persons will definitely be open to actually work with you because you use that particular word free. So remember, we are not here to make money. We are here to validate ourselves. We are here to get real life data, work on it, and actually get that particular accolade from people. So this time around, what do we do? If we're given the data, we work on it and we send it back. So let me just put myself in this particular show. Over the years, I have done this countless times. I lost count. I don't know how many times I've done this. So I didn't get everything 100%, you know, out of like 50, you know, projects I might have worked on, I can actually boast of saying, uh, maybe 35 to 40 were right. And there are many ones are not really, you know, up to what uh, the person wants to see. This time around, I have to create two different buckets. One for strength and one for weakness. So if you have solved like five problems and only three with, with some kind of true, right? You, get, you got three rightly and the remaining two, the person said, this is not what I wanted. That is your weakness. So on your strength, it's actually some kind of validated you that yes, you know what you're doing. You can use functions, you can use formula, you can solve real life problem with data. 
So there are many tools simply means that there are some functions you need to actually go back and learn. You have to learn how to think like an analyst to actually be able to solve this particular problem. Don't give up. Even though this particular person said this is not what I actually want, so go ahead and start looking for how to solve this particular problem over and over again. So maybe if it takes you like a month to actually solve it, you might want to still reach out to this particular person if the person is still reachable and say, I think I have tried enough to actually see what I can do to this. Please, even if you have solved it, I just want you to actually look at this particular project and tell me if this is what you want. So I have gotten a lot of people telling me, thank you, how did you do it? So you have saved my life. I have been trying to do this for like, a week now, I couldn't do it. You just saved my life. So we are not here to make money. We are here to actually, you know, validate our skill. So if you can do this like a lot of time, it will definitely give you that particular initial confidence, even though if you are not actually working yet. So by the time you actually get an opportunity to go to an interview, that confidence you have actually gotten from people's project, real life data, everything. So it will actually give you that particular, some kind of, you know, sit down and feel comfortable that yes, this is what I know how to do. Any question that comes, you'll be able to actually answer it. Not because you've crammed it, you've practiced, that confidence that you've gotten from real life data that you have actually worked on will give you that particular boost of morale to sit in that particular interview and actually make everything right. So this is what you can do to get a real life data work on it and get validated and you can do that for any tool at all that you know how to use best. So remember, we are not aiming for pages or private groups, it's public groups, right? So go to public groups and actually do that. So this will definitely help a lot of persons that want to actually become a successful data analyst. Try as much as you could to do things for free, like 100% free. So what you're doing for free might earn you a lot of money in the future, but right now you just have to try as much as, as you could to gather those particular data set from people, work on it and send it back. And that evaluation is all you need, not the money. Forget the money. Once you know the skill, once you're very good at, at a particular tool, there are people who are trying to solve problems using that particular tool, they will look for you, which means when the time comes, money will start looking for you. And that is how it is. I believe this particular video will definitely help someone. If it does, please don't hesitate to actually give this particular video a thumbs up, it's very important. And if you want to learn about Microsoft Excel and Power BI, this particular channel will definitely help you just to do that. So try as much as you could to subscribe and share to your friends and family so that this particular channel will keep growing and I'll keep coming your way with different videos every single time. You're welcome.